Hello folks, Captain Dave Sport Fishing here. Here's what happened the other day. About two days ago. I'm hoping you can see it. This is only a GoPro Hero 4 Sessions. But this tree, that branch, right there, which is the size of a tree, landed on the house next door to me. Yep, there it is, sitting on the roof. I'm wondering if it poked through. That big branch right there snapped off and came down. There's their power cables right there. It might have almost snatched the power cables. This is a walk and talk, and I figured I'd walk on over here and show you. This stuff is constantly happening. This is a rental next door to me. And as you can see, these trees and all these branches go over this house. This house has not been maintained at all. These rogue trees. Oh, look at that. I can see up inside there how it was hollow. These old swamp or people call them water oaks. I call them a swamp oak. But that's what happened. It sounded like a bomb went off. So I just thought I'd show you. I'm wondering if it poked any holes through the roof. They're lucky if it didn't. Oh yeah, I can see it crushed the chimney up there. Right in there, there's the stack coming up and the wood around the chimney that crushed it. This is the kind of shit that happens around here all the time. And I did a video not long ago, a couple years ago, about how their pine trees right here, after Hurricane Matthew, was leaning over the roof of my house. There's my roof. And one of the pine trees right in here was leaning out over my roof. And the woman didn't want to do anything about it. And she wanted me to split the cost with her. That's the problem when you have a rental next door. Well, you're probably wondering where the fishing videos are. Well, because there isn't any. It's been blowing like absolute crazy. I mean, the wind, <laughs> I mean, 25 knots is not out of the question. Right now, this morning, is the first super calm morning in probably a week or more. The last time I was out, it was blowing 20 knots. It was a hell of a day. We got some red fish and stuff. I took a, a few pictures, but that was it. I don't do videos of every single, you know, fishing trip, that's for sure. Because they all start to run together. But we're getting into the time of the year now that things should be better if people just want to go. Problem is, they don't want to go. Or they want to go, but they don't want to pay. That's usually the story. You know, they think fishing is cheap. They think owning a boat is cheap. And they think I should charge nothing to do it where I go out and I lose my anchor, as I've done other videos of, and when I lose my anchor, there goes 200 plus dollars. So they just don't get it. So around here, you know, Jacksonville is real kind of low buck. Some guys called me, let's see, yesterday on their way to Hooters to go eat. Oh, I got a couple guys in town here. Yeah, let me, uh, let me go in and we eat and then we'll, uh, we'll call you back. Those day before calls never, ever work out. Before that, it was some guy who was texting me. I can always tell the younger generation. They go, hey, hey. They don't go hello or anything. They don't even, when they text you, they don't even say hello this is it's some mystery somebody because i'm not a big texter i'm a texter with people i know <coughs> i'm not a texter with customers because they're asking many times too many in-depth questions can't be answered on a text i'm not writing a book that's what's been going on lately but october should be pretty busy for the sheer fact that 
I've got lots and lots of days booked in October all the way even to November. People around here just get sick and tired of the heat. I know I do. And as I always say, when the children go back to school, the world ends. You know what I mean? I actually do more fishing charters in January and February than I do in September. September is a shit month. It really is. And it's been absolutely terrible this month because of the wind. I was thinking about starting a playlist because I've seen another guy that I watch all the time who's an auto mechanic. He does a lot of videos. It's called <laughs> What Pisses Me Off. And he's doing it for views because half of his uh, titles, I guess you could say, on his videos are all just major clickbait. Super clickbait. He doesn't even edit his own videos. I think he's got somebody else doing them. He's a, they're like a clickbait artist. But he does do these videos and it's what pisses me off. Like plastic door handles. Oh, there goes a boat. Ooh, a catamaran. So, I'm going tomorrow unless something happens. I'm going by myself tomorrow. And we'll be able to see what's going on there. Because I'm going to go do the fishing that I want to go do. Just hitting a few topics. I guess you can call this a walk and talk vlog. It's really doing, or it's tough doing uh, a walk and talk down the road here. For the sheer fact that the cars make so much noise going down the street. You know, they're constantly working on making tires quieter or something. You got to come out here real early in the morning. It's a Sunday. That's the reason I'm going tomorrow, Monday. I don't dare go out on a weekend. Weekdays. Weekdays, folks. Weekdays. I used to run a weekday special. <coughs> Monday, Tuesday, something like that. Hardly anybody even took up on it. You can't hardly bribe people to go on a weekday. Only retired people, which are sometimes your better customers. At least they're not texting you constantly. But uh, let's go down here and see if my neighbor that has goats in his yard. So I see all the boats passing by. You see the boats passing by? Everybody and their brothers going today on a Sunday. Oh, here comes the goats. Here they come. There's the goats and the dog. You chasing them goats? Huh? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You chasing them goats? Here's Mr. Goat. Okay, he's right here. Kick some butt. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see him. <laughs> Look at him. Barking at him. Jumping around. <laughs> huh. I love goats. They're they're better than dogs. They probably really take care of themselves. I'd like to have a couple goats. Gotta always have more than one. You gotta have one that has a friend like that one. Here's something you just don't see enough of anymore. Our flag. Well, it's finally starting to cool off. That's the big deal. Now I know, see, YouTube is full of disappointments if you ever decide to start a YouTube channel. Um, because it certainly isn't the way it used to be. It's totally different. Back in the day, I started this entire YouTube channel for one reason, and that is to educate potential customers about what's going on in Jacksonville fishing. Problem is, customers hardly look at any of the videos. They don't do any homework. So when they don't do any homework, they don't see any videos. On my channel, there's the video that sits there. I change that out frequently.
guess what today is? It's Monday morning. And Monday morning is the greatest morning of all mornings. And today is the first, actually yesterday, Sunday, is the first nor'easter, I guess you could say, of the year. If you don't know what a nor'easter is, it's when the wind's blowing from the northeast and it makes it ultimately nice and comfortable and cool. The wind's about 15. It's, it's doable. I'm leaving sort of uh, around 9 o'clock because I'm going to let this tide go down. I only have one guy today, a smart man. He wants to learn how to float rig fish, do a little trout fish, and we'll see how that works out. This morning on the Noble Weather Radio, they said that the Mayport jetties temperature was down to 78 on the surface. Well, of course, because it blew all the cooler water in here. But we'll see how today works, and uh, all I can tell you, folks, it's go time. From here on out, um, this is it. This is what I wait all summer for. This is what I sweat to the oldies for. Sitting around the house, got nothing to do. I think I'm going fishing, scare away the blues. I'm going fishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go fishing. Yeah, yeah. We just need a lot more of these, but that's a good size one. Is it that iridescence? Yeah. yeah. Got another one. We can't find any small ones, but we're finding nice big ones. Worst problems to have. Worst problems. Oh, yeah. It's purple. And I know. It's glowing just that, right yeah, in it's there. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. All right. We're doing okay. Yeah. Now the tide's getting low. I've been telling everybody it's all about the low tide. Thank you. 